Knots complicate access, egress, and rescue. They also reduce the strength of the rope. It is not good practice to leave existing knots in place on working ropes. However, they may be used as a temporary solution to isolate a damaged section of rope or join ropes of inadequate length. Whatever the scenario we are encountering, this is how we perform the maneuver. First, we ascend up to the knots and place the ASAP above the knot on the backup rope. Then remove the duck from below the knot. Now we remove the hand ascender and place it above the knot on the main rope and ascend until the crawl is just below the knot. Next, we attach the ID below the crawl on the main rope and perform a function check. We then remove any slack in the system between the crawl and the ID. Make sure to create enough distance between the hand ascender and the knot we are passing so there is enough space to install the crawl. Step up to remove the crawl and reattach it above the knot. We slide the ASAP high up the backup rope. Now we perform a function check by pulling a few inches of slack through the crawl. Lastly, remove the ID and continue to the anchor. Once changed over into descent mode, we descend until the ID is just a few inches above the knot. Next, we will do a changeover onto the crawl and perform a function check. Remove the ID and descend on the crawl until we are just above the knot. We then reinstall the ID below the knot. Make sure to position the hand ascender at the appropriate height to avoid loading the hand ascender lanyard once we remove the crawl. Stand up in the foot loop and remove the rope from the crawl. Next, we slowly lower down onto the ID and remove the hand ascender. We then install the duck below the backup rope knot and remove our ASAP from above the knot. Now resume our descent to the ground.